Welcome back to NBC3 News at 5.30. It was a case that drew national headlines seven years ago. Stacey Castor convicted in her husband's death. Investigators say she poisoned him with antifreeze, or anti-free, as it said in one handwritten note. However, officials say the 48-year-old died in prison over the weekend. We do not yet know the cause of her death, just that she passed away at Bedford Hills Downstate in one of New York State's prison for women convicted of crimes like this one. Former NBC3 investigative reporter Jim Kenyon covered the story, the trial. He is back with us tonight. First of all, great to see you, Jim. Oh, it's good to be back. Thank yeah. you for inviting me. This is one of those cases probably that you will always remember. Oh, how could you forget it? I mean, it was really probably way up there as the most notorious uh, murder case that uh, we've seen in central New York. I mean, a woman that uh, uh, poisoned uh, not one, but two husbands mm. uh, with uh, antifreeze, uh, and then tried to blame it on her daughter and poison her in an attempt to kill her uh, with a fake suicide note. Was uh, I recall it being yeah. so incredible, and, and the use of the word incredible is intentional there, yeah. that, that she was being charged in the murder of this second husband, only for us to later then find out yeah. that she had used this same routine of antifreeze poisoning for her first husband that that had died of what they thought was a, a, an apparent heart attack. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Department did a brilliant job of, uh, of tracing this whole case down. They used a high-tech computer forensics to take apart a, a hard drive to show that she was actually rehearsing the suicide, fake suicide note mm. uh, the, uh, that she uh, bl would have blamed on Ashley Wallace. Uh, they also exhumed the body of her first husband, Michael Wallace, who died in 2000, to establish that he, too, had been poisoned with antifreeze, it turned out. Even though she was never charged with that crime or indicted with that crime, during the trial, uh, uh, District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick was able to prove to the jury that she actually killed Michael Wallace yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and, and use that as a modus operandi for David Castro. We've been showing speech. sort of generically the video of, of Bill Fitzpatrick and the cross-examination oh, of Stacey Castor, but that. this was used on, on Dateline and other programs like that nationally. But what's your recollection of the, of the DA having his chance to really go after this woman who was accused of murder at that time, not yet convicted? Well, I, I, I kind of wonder why she ever decided to take the stand in her own defense. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Fitz, uh, Fitzpatrick was relentless, uh, and and he got very emotional. He got he was yelling at her, and 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 every chance that she tried to explain herself, he would trip her up, uh, and uh, it was it was one of those classic uh, cases that uh, you just could never never ever forget. The, that individual there is uh, Charles Keller. That was her attorney, mm -hmm. uh, and and he the, her whole defense was based on the premise that the suicide note that Ashley Wallace had written, supposedly admitting to murdering uh, David Castor and uh, her uh, father uh, Michael Wallace, uh, that uh, the the whole premise was that that was in fact true, and uh, and it was a, he just could not. Uh, could not make that case. David Castor Jr., uh, David yes. Castor's son. There's now a big effort by him and his family mm -hmm. to try to move his father's plot. Right. Uh, what do you recall about the emotions? I mean, really, this was a story that tore so many different families apart. Oh gosh, yes. Uh, I mean, David David Castor Jr. Uh, first of all, he he tried to get. Uh, uh, some of his father's inheritance. Uh, mm -hmm, the the right. whole motive behind this was a, was a fake will, if you remember, right. uh, that uh, that she made up uh, to uh, inherit uh, David Castor's estate. But uh, David Castor Jr. Uh, was actually won a court case, a court decision to get that estate, and then it was overturned on appeal. Mm -hmm. So remarkably, yeah, yeah. Re really remarkable. Even though the will was fake, uh, and um, and you know he he uh, suffered tremendously in this, uh, and along with the the two daughters of uh, of uh, Stacy Castor, Ashley Wallace, and uh, her uh, sister Bree. Yeah. Um, I mean, can you imagine what that must be like for them to you know have a mother's love turn into something as evil as right. an attempted where, where murder? Right, she's turned against you and, yeah. and killed people in your life, Jim. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks for coming back and sharing some of your your recollections of this from seven plus years ago now. Yeah, really. It's great to see her. Great to, yeah, come on back anytime, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. All right.